feedback, but you're here. Can you talk through kind of your process of deciding and, and when did you decide that you were, were going to stick around? Yeah, um, so I didn't even know I was going to come back. Uh, just had a lot of thought, you know, going towards the end of the season. And, you know, um, I thought it was going to be the end of me, you know, being here at Eastern. You know, I just thought it was time to graduate, you know, then move on a little bit. But I was dealing with a lot of injuries. I was playing a lot, you know, in the process. So, you know, Coach Best was lean enough to give me a couple of weeks to think about it, you know, and get back to him. And, you know, I just told him that I want to come back and grind with the boys again, you know, for the off season. And, you know, it really wasn't for real until I got approved for a medical. So I finally just got approved for the medical to come back. So I knew there was a chance of me not getting it, but I still came back and went to grind with the boys and, you know, get another opportunity, so. I mean, you know what you're getting into. Cause it's not, it's not obviously, this, this is a full schedule to take on. What, um, what ultimately made you decide that you did want to go through that grind for obviously not just the spring and the summer and the fall, it's a long time. Uh, just knowing what I'm capable of, you know, um, before getting hurt, you know, that took a big toll on my mental, you know, and then just coming back and fighting through stuff to get back on the field and be able to get a little taste of it. I know like now just putting the whole foot down the whole off season of just working was gonna, is gonna pay off for the real season, so. I'm just excited to see what's what's for the future. What does it say to you that you know guys like Brock decided to stick? Around? I mean, a lot of guys are sticking around. It's not just you. What does that tell you? Uh, it tells me a lot. Like this is a real brotherhood team. Um, them guys are a part of my decision too. You know, I talked to those guys during the break of we had a, a, a banquet. Then after the banquet, you know, I talked to those guys a little bit and I just told them what I was thinking. And those guys were a part of my process too. So. I think it's good that we got vet guys still around and sticking around because, you know, we're all hungry for one thing and that's winning, so. Um, unfortunately, you haven't won a lot in the last two years. How, how do you change that? How do you get back on track to where this program used to be? Uh, just doing the little things now, you know, the, the season's one in the off season, so just continuing to doing the things that we've been doing, um, just working every day, you know, so now starting with spring ball, just going out there grinding for two hours every chance we get and then just letting it roll into fall camp and then letting it roll into the season. You know, we know we had two losing seasons, but we also know we had a lot of winning seasons. So we just got to put our foot down and just be grown men, you know. And then the big uh, motto this off season was mentality. So just building the right mentality and uh, going out there every day to compete. I heard that from guys last year, though, after the year going into last season, it didn't work for them. How do you make sure it works for you? How do you change it so you know you can get back to it? Um, just sticking with the foundation. You know, we reset the foundation last year. You know, we was expecting bigger things, but we came short a little bit. So we just want to stick to it and just mold it and keep molding it. And then eventually something's going to pop and then, you know, we'll be winning again. So You get a bonus season, for lack of a better term. You get one more year. I mean... Are you looking at it like, I know this is it, I know I, I need to make sure that I don't leave anything off the table? Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, I know this is, this is going to be the one for me, so I just want to, you know, take every day in and knowing that, you know, my time really is coming to an end because I was getting a little sad, you know, being around, away from the guys the time I was away. So, you know, just being around them still and just, you know, Letting everybody know I still, you know, I love them every day is the biggest thing for me. So, yeah, just putting in the work every day to have this big year I know I can have. So you really miss Coach Best hanging out with him? <laughs> ah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, looking at that group of corners and defensive backs, because a lot of younger guys got some time because you were hurt and, and there were some other spaces open. What do you, what does this team need out of guys, you know, like Derek Cantor? Some of those guys who played as a freshman and as a sophomore last year. Yeah, just keep being professionals at what they're doing. You know, Derek Ganter is one of those young guys who got an opportunity to go out there early and play. So, like, the biggest thing for him now is just becoming a vet now and just knowing everything by the back of his hand and being able to go out there and not being baby no more, just being a freshman, like just being loose and being able to go out there and play. So I feel like we got a lot of young guys, but they're also – learning a lot too and they're very talented you know they got bright upside so I'm just hoping like this spring ball really helps them grow into a real vet and then 
by fall time, you'd be able to see them out there a little bit, you know, against some playing time. And then last question, uh, Coach Sanders is now the coordinator of defense, and I'm curious what have been your impressions of, obviously you knew him last year as a position coach, but uh, what do you see him bringing to this defense as a whole now? Um, Man, he's a, he's like a sensei, you know, he's, he wants everybody, you know, the way he wants them. So I say like he's bringing the good back into, into the defense, you know, we, took our name back as Savages. So, you know, we're running back with being Savages. So it's just really going out there, talking money, you know, making plays and doing the right things. But playing fast is like the biggest thing from him. But, you know, I love what he's doing. His de his new defense is good. You know, he puts a lot of different versatility in the defense. So I'm just excited to see how it molds into the real season, how it's going to play out. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.